let's try uh, which character is this Let, let's see let's see Ooh, ooh. Look, look, look at that skin he looks like he's from the 80s um I think that's the only cool onyx skin I don't like that just because of how thick it is gives me vector vibes and vector is pretty bad at least that looks pretty cool I'll, I'll use that that's pretty loud Second. Let's see some stats. Dex, Dex stats is for sure the best. Yeah, that's kind of that looks like Ulgrim stats right there. Um, nine defense, sure. At least it doesn't take from dexterity. Okay, okay, guys, welcome to the video. I already showed a bit off. Uh, I got a little bit of a different setup here. I just got back from CEO Dreamland. That sadly, Brawlhalla got canceled, but I still attended the event. Um, so I went from the center. But uh, yeah, I got back, and in Canada, they force you to self quarantine yourself for two weeks once you come back from traveling. Um, so yeah, I'm stuck in my house, and my dad, how my dad and mom are divorced, and I usually stay at my dad's house. And that's why I've got a new setup here. I went on a trip with my mom and my dad and my whole step family and stuff like that are all there. But I can't go there because there's a very, very small chance I have coronavirus. No symptoms. I don't think I have it. But better safe than sorry. So my dad moved the setup here and now I'm here. So uh, videos and live streams and stuff will be here for the next two weeks. So yeah, all my setup is here though, mic, everything, so you shouldn't notice the difference other than the camera. Uh, today we're going over Onyx, the new legend. If you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Give me some video ideas down below. Discord is down below. And let's get right into the video. Um, Onyx, what do I think of him? Uh, he's very similar to Sir Roland, just from the get-go. I should actually put uh, his fate in the center a bit. There we go. There we go, that, that's pretty good. But yeah, he's very similar to Sir Roland, which I actually kind of like. Um, the only reason I don't like Roland is because of his signatures, not actually his stats. His stats are really good for like twos. And they, they can be good for ones. That's gonna take some time to get used to. I'll go over all the signatures in a bit. Um, his stats are really good for twos. Ones, they can be good, just depends on which map you're playing on. A map like Small Brawl, you're going to die a lot quicker. But a map like Shipwreck or Demon's Islands, you can really stay alive. Um, okay, so let's go over these signatures one by one. We'll start with the cannon. So cannon, side sig... Actually, let's we'll just start with down sig. Uh, I've already experienced them a tiny bit because I'm a couple days late because I have to travel and set my PC up. So the down sig is a little stacked hitbox. Sends them upwards. I'm actually gonna turn my sounds down even one more. Sends them not necessarily upwards. It kind of depends on like where you hit it. It doesn't send down, so you can't really spike like this. I don't believe so. Uh, let me try like this. Maybe it does. Oopsie. Did he bounce off the ground? Is my question. I think he did bounce off the ground. I let me get the bot to jump. Bait, jump. So he gets sent up like that. That's still up. Okay, he can get sent down. So it can spike off stage, although it is very difficult to spike consistently. You're better off just like ground pounding if you want a quick kill. But this is very good off stage. Just how purely big it is and that you can slide charge it. It's just, it's not really gonna kill consistently. It can though. Um, I'm gonna set the bot to stand again. Um, yeah, the, the, the down sig's good. It's actually fairly quick. It's not like too slow. Picks up stack pretty easy to land. It's almost like a shine and smash, if you know what that is on Fox and some other characters have something similar. Um, but yeah, down sig, pretty mediocre sig at best. I don't think it's breasted. I don't think it's too good, but it's definitely usable. Uh, side signature. Uh, it's basically gauntlet downlight or like and it's the same thing with like gauntlet down sig which i'll go over later uh side signature is very basic it just has a bit of range it's not too quick but it's reasonably quick 
Like I can punish for that on whiff. Like I could just put pressure off stage with it, which is definitely a good use and I can catch people. Um, since horizontally um, doesn't kill too quickly, I don't believe so. It should kill like, doesn't pick up stacked. Ooh, that kills quicker than 150. 130, keep in mind we're on small brawl haven. Okay, so it's not too quick. It's a very average signature. The only real good thing about it is Again, you've got a lot of priority. Like I can reach off stage from over here. So if people are trying to get up, I can cover that. It's also got a bit of vertical range. You can see that's actually a lot of priority vertically. Um, it's a lot more than people would necessarily think. So fairly good signature. I can see some uses. The only issue with it is you do stand in one spot. So it's very easy to punish. That's the only downside to the signature. Again, not broken, not awful, but like, eh. Uh, neutral signature. I think this is arguably his best signature on his kit. It's a very good follow-up to certain strings. Uh, maybe side light at later healths. Yeah, there we go. It's very good because uh, when signatures flow into like not true combo starters some are true but when signatures are follow-ups to for strings like uh this downlight end sig it is very good to kill with it because if you get a dodge read more often than not that will hit because not many people spam jump so like, let's say i do downlight and let's say he dodges down and i can see that i i mistimed that completely there we go that will hit 99% of the time. Some pros will jump, but not many even. So that's a very good option to have if they don't have a dodge. And any character with those type of options are really good, especially late game to get early KOs. Um, so his NSIG is super usable. It's got a ton of range vertically. It actually covers a point on cannon that isn't covered before. Downlight is horizontal, side light is a bit of an anti-air, so it blocks people from coming diagonally. End light is completely horizontal, similar to downlight, it's just end light is less risky. But this end sig right here, that angle it covers is completely different, and it actually covers straight above you as well, as you can see. It covers like half of straight above you. So like that is really, really good coverage because it's not an option that's already covered. Like his side sig right here, you can also hit a down sig, right? Or not down sig, down light. And even like a dash end light does the exact same job, right? So the point is that different coverage is used for different case scenarios that you already don't have any option for. So it's actually his best signature in my opinion. So yeah, end sig. If any signature is broken, that would be the broken one. That is outstanding, very quick, love it. Only thing that could be better is if you moved while doing the signature, then it would be absolutely broken. Anyways, gauntlet time. We got the N-Sig, and here's why I think the N-Sig on Canon is great, and why I don't like this gauntlet N-Sig. That works, but it's so inconsistent and barely works in red, like you need to have them really deep in health for it to work. If you try and do this anything earlier, it just will never hit. It doesn't pick up grounded, which is a huge disadvantage. It doesn't flow out of down light. It doesn't flow out of side light. What type of case scenario are you trying to use this for? Like, yeah, I'm trying to do a gravity cancel. Like, I don't know how to use this signature. It doesn't flow nicely into the kit. The only option is like a grounded nair into NSIG. It's just not a good signature. I don't like his gauntlet and sig. All of his gauntlet signatures, and I'll explain this after, I don't think they're good sigs. So yeah, don't, his end sig maybe use it. The only good case scenario is again, it covers an area up there that isn't already covered by side light, but that's the only thing. It just doesn't flow nicely. I can't, I don't know when to use it other than if someone's directly above me. It's weird. It just doesn't flow nice. It's also really hard to punish since you have almost like no recovery frames. So there are some good things about it. It's not the worst signature in the kit. It just doesn't flow nicely with the kit, making it not his best signature, in my opinion. Definitely a complete disadvantage to the 
cannon and sig only advantage is you stop in midair so it's actually really hard to punish you could spam this and like no one's gonna punish you for it you can kind of see how quickly i jump unless maybe like spear down light it depends on who you're playing against anyways uh gauntlet side sig i think this is a good signature uh, reason why I think it's good is you've got some momentum, so it's hard to punish. You actually don't land on the ground if you spam jump, like as you can see right there. I only go to here, and I'm pretty sure that avoids lance side light and light, maybe not down light. So it's actually really nice that, um, not that signature, that like you don't have to touch the ground and you're moving a lot. It's got a lot of uh, priority towards the end, not a lot at the beginning, but again, see how you're in the air moving? That is really hard to, you know, like punish. So it's actually a really good option. That's got a lot of priority. It's got a good amount of force. You can use it off stage. You've got a lot of range from it. Like I can go from here all the way to the there very quickly. It's got a little bit of startup, but not many people are gonna react quick enough. It's a very good signature. Uh, you can't slide charge it, which I don't love. Whatever, it's it's, it's pretty good. It's definitely his best uh, gauntlet signature. And let's go to the last and final signature, the down signature. This is gauntlet down light. Why would you use this signature when you can use a gauntlet down light? Because gauntlet down light sets you up into true combos. It sets you up into a kill confirm, if I can... If I can input it, it's the same input as the Russian Mafia. There we go. It's easier at later health. But let me do this. Does that kill? Does that have force? Is there a point to doing this? Okay, so that killed. Whoopsie. Okay, so it kills like 10 damage earlier than Downlight Recovery would. Maybe that's not true with uh, four decks. Or maybe I'm on five decks. I thought this was true. I don't know how much decks you need to get this true. But it kills 10 damage earlier than downlight recovery. Um, every other downlight sets you up for more damage. The only good thing about it is you don't move as much. So I can just like spam it here. Other than that, it's just... <laughs> It's, just, it's an option already covered. It doesn't give you any advantage over downlight, other than the killing at the very end. So only use this if you're in red health. Other than that, it is completely useless. You get one hits that do 21 damage, when that combo alone does 25.7 damage. Like, what is the point? And you can do other things out of downlight. Wait. If I know how to input this properly. Looks like a tough input. Can I dash jump? It's a really tough input. There we go. Like stuff like that, you know? It just leads you into more stuff. I'm pretty sure this is true. That's a really tough input. There we go. I need to practice. I don't play gauntlets, guys. I just know how to input it. I just don't know how to do it like consistently. I think I'm accidentally dash jumping a lot when I need to jump, chase, dodge in there. It's just hard to go from down to up like that. But you guys see the point. Like, I don't see a point to using the down sig over down light. Now, point, down light is way less risky. Down sig, way more risky. Down light has true combo follow-ups. That wasn't true, but they're very easy brain dead true combo follow-up. Down sig is nothing. Don't use it, only if they're in red. I don't see a point. Maybe you can use it to bait, just like that maybe, if someone's like off stage here. But you could also do a down light to bait, like, I don't know, whatever. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know opinions down below. See you guys, love you all. Onyx is a good legend, not busted or anything, but yeah, I'll see you guys later.